Good morning. Okay, now now I can hear myself. Good morning, everybody. Um, very interesting panel and talking after people like Ms. Tala and uh, Mr. Hussein is going to be very tough. I mean, these are like the giants of development when it comes to creating ecosystems in Dubai and Sharjah. But I think these initiatives uh, also live out of collaboration with smaller ones. And that's actually where we come in. Um, maybe just a few words about AHK for those who don't know. Uh, Austin Handels Kama, that's basically the international arm of the German Chamber of Commerce. And um, this organization is literally everywhere <laughs> where, where you find a German or a German company. And you find the German company obviously everywhere. So it's one of the strongest international organizations worldwide. Sometimes AHK is uh, fully governmental. Mostly it's a hybrid collaboration between private sector and uh, governmental. Um, but its main uh, target is support German companies in international business in the company, in the countries uh, that, uh, like here, like in UAE. Uh, AHK um, in Dubai is a very interesting um, structure, um, obviously because of the rules and regulations in UAE. Um, we have partnered with the Dubai Chamber as a joint Chamber of Commerce. So AHK is actually a joint uh, chamber between Germany and Emirati Chamber of Commerce. Um, let me see how this is actually going forward. There we go. Now, having this target of supporting German companies uh, in uh, their international business, uh, we identified that um, there is actually a lack of connection between the German and the UAE um, startup ecosystem. Now, these two ecosystems, if you take a closer look at them, they're actually very complementary. Um, bring it basically to the point is what we need here, oops, sorry, what we need here is talent mostly. And that is actually what we have a lot in a country like Germany because of the educational system, because of research and development and so on and so forth. What you have here is an amazing infrastructure, a government that is supporting the tech drive and um, basically a, a global community where you can very easily test and basically test your idea, implement your idea and scale and get an immediate feedback from more than 990 nationalities. Now, these two ecosystems definitely should be connected as there is a huge, um, let's say, case for them to collaborate and thrive together. That was the base of the idea when I wrote the concept of uh, the AHK uh, startup desk. Whoops, it's going always the wrong way. Now, we have sat down and saw also not only that the two ecosystems actually from a structural point of view have a lot in common, but we are actually talking, we that is UAE and Germany, about the same topics in both countries, but very far away from each other. Now, if we take a look at health tech, smart city, cybersecurity, AI, blockchain, renewables, all these topics you just heard actually related to Expo and related also to Sharjah Technology Center. Now, Germany is mastering most of those brilliantly around the world, but there is still no, not really that connection among the startups. So that's why we thought, okay, there is so much in common. Now, why don't we build a bridge and basically try to attract those startups in these different areas to so come over here and find what you just heard that they can find over here, and most of them are not aware of. So the HK Startup Desk wants to be a platform. And as a vision, basically, 
is to become a leading connecting platform for startup ecosystems, innovation, and research and development driven organizations. It's very important, right? So R&D driven organization, and basically um, all related stakeholders between Germany and the GCC countries. Obviously, AHK is not only Dubai or not UAE, we are actually uh, representing the GCC countries. Our mission is basically to develop, implement, and support ideas, services, and initiatives to basically connect. And this is one of the top, top topics also uh, in the other panels and presentations you've heard so far. Now, the main uh, advantages actually been uh, a lot of uh, comments on what are the advantages, but I don't want to go uh, too deep in, in, in that topic. But I think what is very remarkable is that we have an AI minister, basically. <laughs> right? So that shows the level of support of the government. Right. Um, another aspect is that basically we are multicultural and we are insanely tech affine. I think there is a, a, a smartphone uh, coverage of 120% because most of the people have two phones like myself also. So <laughs> we need to basically accommodate different SIM cards. So that's why uh, there's an over coverage. And all this actually is very, very interesting uh, for startups to come and start over here. Um, Opportunities at the expo. I, I mean, we had Tala. I'm just, I'm not even going, going to go there. <laughs> we, we know that. And it's not only, uh, obviously, expo, but also what expo is leading to. AHK is part of, as I said, a hybrid organization. Um, we wanted to highlight the private sector part to collaborate with us. That's why we actually are an organization within the umbrella of uh, the chamber, however, operate with a very, very interesting concept of steering committee. And uh, this steering committee comes from a different background, which enables us to tap into different services for the startups that we're actually uh, hosting. So we're creating program, we're offering a network, mentoring program, opportunities in different kind of the sectors and um, funding, obviously, then um, sponsorship partners, if necessary, at the early stage and uh, co-hosting events with organizations such as Open Gear with the support of a very active steering committee, which comes from different industries, as you can see right here. Um, one face should be familiar. Uh, Ahmed is one of the most active members of our steering committee, but I'm very, very proud that we have actually um, managed to get people from uh, different sectors, starting from entrepreneurs, some successful entrepreneurs themselves, all the way to people like PwC, the Academia is with us, Olan Berga is with us. And I have to say that was the best decision to make because any startup approaches us, any support is just a call away, right? We're all connected, we're all communicating, and we're all making decisions based on our network experience. It's more than 20, 25, 30 years of experience in uh, entrepreneurship and startup sector within that steering committee, which makes the desk extremely powerful and active. The first project that we came up with is Come to Dubai. Now, we have the most amazing programs uh, offered from free zones all the way to Expo, right? Awareness. Do the startups actually know about that? And that's the thing that we came. Not, not many know about these uh, aspects in Germany. So we are actually using our own network to call out to people to come and visit us. Now, Expo is obviously a very... A uh, good reason for people to come and, and uh, visit Dubai at the moment. We are utilizing this opportunity to actually catch them, show them, particularly the startups, what's going on here and make them an offer to participate in a little competition that we have set up. And this competition is actually uh, is in collaboration with a local company, with Alamiri Group, who runs the bus two business centers. And Mr. Amiri was so kind to say, hey, if you guys bring the, uh, the, the startups, 
I'm happy to host them. So we're actually running a competition for five startups uh, to basically introduce their concept. And the criteria is those who have the biggest opportunity to succeed here and actually contribute to the digital strategy of UAE are going to be chosen to come to us and stay. Now, obviously, we're not the Sharjah Technology Center. Obviously, we're not FinTech Hive. Obviously, we're not one of the big, big uh, incubators here. We don't want to be. But we can be an entry gate to all of those. And that is what it's all about. Everybody being here, living here knows that, you know, living expenses, setup costs, and all these kind of things for a startup can be a big problem. This is what we're trying to gap. And once somebody comes over here, they will get a full support from us to meet the right people and have the right opportunity to set up. And I think this is a great bottleneck that we're trying to bridge. Getting here is always a very expensive issue, right? Once you're here, then you have a lined up networking and event that you can tap into, and then you can be successful. But this is the bridge, particularly with a country such as Germany, where you have like cultural challenges, you have language barriers and so on. Having an organization such as AHK shouting at you and saying, hey, here we are. This is the opportunity. We'll help you come over here. And then this is the uh, basically limitless opportunities that you can use to grow your startup. This is us. We're always interested in collaboration. Happy to discuss with Expo what we can do together. Happy to, to discuss with Sharjah what we can do together. If we can just uh, join hands and we can participate or basically bring our startups towards the programs that you have, that would be already a huge help for us. And uh, I think together we can do amazing stuff. That's all I can say. Join us and we'll be happy to collaborate.